Yo, hello there, my delicious friends. Hope you're doing beautifully well. It's your boy Mikey, relaxed. Taking it very chill. I've been very, very busy recently, so I'm just having a little evening where we are still replaying Elden Ring, prepping for the DLC in the last episode. If you're watching the HD uh, ones that I'm popping out, uh, we uh, actually had a run around. We got further and further, made it up to the giant. We were level 66, actually a bit underpowered to take on old Big G Bag, even though I want to do it for Melina because she wants to burn everything down. Let's talk about what I think Melina truly is. And we doubled back, did the stuff with Var, got the seal that allowed us to go to Mogwin's Palace, which is up here, down there, floating above the Eternal City of Nox. And I've been doing some leveling up. This is my character. He's still the uh, physical Bloodhound Fang boy. He was level 66, but after the last live stream, when I said goodnight and good bed to everyone, what I actually did is I got in the zone and uh, I basically, uh, I, I'm glad I'm not in the military. I might be capable of war crimes. I thought I was a good person, but I stayed up all night until the morning and I would load here. I would shoot an arrow down there at that guy and then I would systematically massacre all of these dudes with the big round heads. And their screams filled my night again and again and again. And it's like my I, my mind just went away to the safe place. My mind floated away. And Mikey, the me who's a good person, was like in the dark, in the underdark, in the box, in the deep, whatever you want to call it. And what was left was a killing monster. And mostly I'm okay with it because mostly they don't know. I don't know where their minds are. I think they're simple. They're born inert. So mostly this was okay, with one exception. Oh, let's let's take care of this dude quickly, and I'll I'll explain the one bit that I felt very very guilty about. Killing these guys is fine, but this one. Because unlike the others, I don't know if it's with the way their eye has a bit of lip around the edge. But unlike the others, this guy looks like he's actually looking sideways directly at me. As in, I've been going down killing them and they never knew it was coming. I just kind of put them out of their misery and sent them to bed. But that one guy sitting there, he watched me do it all. This guy, look, I'll kill his friend. I'll kill his friend right now. And he's been watching. And he knew that his time would come. And I would go down the left and I'd come up the right. And eventually I'd get to him. And he saw me do it. He saw me do it every time until I killed him. I went into a really dark place. Other than that, I'm loving Elden Ring. <clears throat> so... Uh, we got down here, unlocked a whole lot of stuff. I just wanted to show you what I've been up to and why everything is stained with blood. Now, let's go back up to Mog. Uh, we played and fought Mog a lot. Now that I'm buffed and beefed. Just giving them names and personalities. The Albinorix. Albinorix. Yeah, I leveled hard. So... I might have overleveled. Look at this. I'm now a level 148, 50 vigor, 88 dex, 45 strength. <laughs> now I've got my flasks. I've got my wondrous physic. Uh, wasn't there a thing? Don't I also have an item? Oh, is it the Wondrous Physic? Oh, here we go. Purifying Crystal Tear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got stuff. We got stuff going on. There's a new scaling item for the DLC, so it doesn't matter. Okay, lovely. So. I had one run around earlier. I mean, I mean like, I saved it up. I saved it up. And I had a quick run around earlier. And, uh... Let's just, <laughs> let's just work it out, work it out. It's still a fight, it's still a fight, but let's see how we go. <clears throat> so it scales like Sekiro in the DLC. 
This farming spot of Radan Greatsword of a Golden Order Sword is amazing. Two to three hits are enough of a whole heal. Yeah, I did lament not having a big AoE ability. That was my only complaint. Right, so we're going to pop in here. Jelly Furtado. Bloody Blady, just for fun. Now. I spent all the night before the leveling up learning his attack patterns. Live on uh, the stream. Oh, wow. He's, he's going into the thing early. Ooh. That blood loss got up. So I'm going to eat this in a minute. Go back to my flask. Runny jumpy. Simon Stagalot. Love it. Now he's in trouble mode. Oh, Ooh, that was a lot of HP. Oh. Am I still one handed? I am. Okay, so basically, getting him down now is substantially easier. Getting him down into business. Now, you can tell I still haven't actually remembered any of his rhythms, but we can now tank attacks. He was one hitting me before. We can now tank attacks and bully through. <clears throat> uh, and like... <laughs> I, I know this I know it sounds like I'm chatting big like I think I'm all that but this was one of the most difficult bosses we'd come across nobody talk about Melania and now like I did all that leveling up and now it's like ah. Ah. anyway I thought for sure it was gonna be a first time attempt yeah I, I just still didn't have his rhythms and his things uh yo was that uh your Barty I hope you're having a wonderful day welcome on in Welcome to the Kill Zone. Kill Zone came out on the PlayStation 2. Uh, one of my friends had it at university. It was a lot of fun. Never played the others. I hear they're still banging. So Jelly goes in with a distract. Mikey goes in with a jumping R2. He knows to stay down. Can't get hurt. Might be inert. Mog has to go big early in order to look good. This whole time, he's being made a fool by Jelly Furtado. Please protect himself. That's a defensive bleed spell. He's scared. He's shivering. Shh. Oh, he's shaking. Are you cold? You're cold. Oh. Look at that. I used to have to dive roll to the right after he calls out the number or you die. Now, I just have to have enough HP. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I need a bit more HP than that. Mi amor. Ah, mi amor. Gracias para el follow. Mm, hello. Melina <laughs> next. We'll go to him. Hey, casual. Hey, dude, man. Howdy, hello. <clears throat> mi amor. I hope life is treating you well. The purifying crystal tear has no duration. You can use it at the start. Oh, can I? <gasps> Do you know what that means? Instead, I'll, I'll reflame my blade. Relight the fire. Reflame your blade. Start the reactor. My name is Quaid.
two-handed this time. Oh, sorry. I wasn't drinking my health because I was still on my uh, receptacle. Oh, I love how you missed that. Don't love the follow-up, but I love it when you just sneak under his hip. One of the things that I do love about Elden Ring is those hitboxes are true. Like, you will get punished for any mistake you make. But if your character happens to be like a little bit low or just off to the side of their attack, you get it. You get that miss. You get the sneak. Ooh. Ooh, wow. Okay, not those ones, but you'll get the next one, trust me. Isn't that Trump's wife? Yeah, she's in the DLC. Now, Ash of War. Which one's BHF? Do you know what? I actually, uh... Well, as you know, this particular playthrough, I'm avoiding unnecessary side journeys other than what I need to be strong. And that kind of includes going around Nox for 15 minutes, the Eternal City, for the sake of uh, getting my, uh, what was it, clone? Mimic? Because Jelly Furtado does everything. She stays back. She pulls attention. She's beautiful. She's got it all right. Oh, get it, Ricky! Go, 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 go! Blood flames. Uh, drink some juice. Leave her alone. You get away from her. Get away from her, you bitch. Let it roll. Chocolate roll. Ooh. Invigorating. Ooh. Ah. Oh my god. I'm, I'm clearly relying purely on my tanking HP. <laughs> this is going really well, babe. Don't ask. Get away from her, you... <laughs> Get away from her, you bitch! Ah, blood loss! <laughs> Damn it. That's the L on blood. That's closer than ever before. Mog tonight, babe. Mog tonight. Wolf son of Moog, sorry. Hi <sighs> You can get the mimic in three to four minutes. Don't know her. Who is she? Weya. Moog Maxine. <laughs> 3D Pop, how is life treating you, man? This time, also look at his attacks.
get him, get him, get him! Oh, I'm stuck in the flames! I guess you just can't dive roll forward if he's tracking you straight down on that one. Mimic 2 of a blood build. Plus 150 would level through everything. I mean, we could mimic. The mimic is you. We could go mimic, but like... Jelly's been with me. <laughs> Quite a lot of this journey. It's going to be Ishin too. Nah, mate, this is literally like, I'm going to get a few extra lucky rolls in, and this guy's done. This is warm-up for the giant. That's, that's all we're here for. Wait, right, how do you read that? Healed. I was like, damn, we're getting a bit. <laughs> getting him quite low there. Oh, fuck. Sorry. Wah. Hey, ah. Uh... Oh, what killed me then? Oh, it was a blood loss. Nana Pion, hey do. My heart rate's going really hard. Nana Pion, hello. Uh, so what's BHF again? Bloodhound Fang, sorry. Yeah, Bloodhound Fang. Uh, yeah, shall I shall I use my Bloodhound Fang special? Because I've also not been using that. Jumping R2 Dreamboat. <clears throat> Jump right into that sweep. Stop jumping into the point yet. Nah, mate. You don't know. You don't know about the jump. Right. Bloodhound Fangs. Good work, Mikey. Down. It's a trick. Does he recover all of his poise when he does this? I spent a lot of time trying to get some nice chops on the boy. Yeah, that's stubborn. Run it in, do the special. Oh, it still hurts. Get 
Again, we're getting him so low. We're getting him so low. Hiya! The release date depends on the region. It's not based on being in Japan. Are you guys still are you guys still talking about this? It? It's Jurassic Park all over again, isn't it? Kites are first attempt at Moog. Uh, you, uh, no, to be fair, we actually tried him uh, last week um, before I did a whole load of leveling up. So this is post leveling Moog. Uh, so first attempt now that I'm a big bad mofo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for noticing. Lovely to be here. How the devil are you doing? All right. Would you stop? Let's go. Brilliant. Didn't want to hit him. Oh, she's dead already. Jelly, no. My sweet angel. Oh, the brightest stars. It shines so long in the sky from far. I was hoping that one would stagger him. I risked getting hit in the hopes of a Samuel Staggerlot. Samantha Staggerina. In a proud and ancient family. Oh, Ooh, that was lucky. Excuse me. Striking distance. Drag me to get some play. No, love, love, Lord. All the things of jelly and love. I believe in a thing called love. I believe in a thing called love. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. No. Ah, the list is over my heart. Oh. oh, that health went a little bit low. No. Uh, ah. Go, go. Now's your chance. You won't be expecting it. Hey, damn it. Ah. Oh, nearly, 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 nearly. Whew. For Britain, it seems to be 21 console midnight local time. <laughs> I'll just play it on Friday. I'll play it on Friday. Don't worry about it. Ah, you're still not using your weapon ability. I actually tried to do it earlier, and I, I must have pressed the wrong button or missed what it was. It's L2 and then it's R2 for the... It's R2 for the follow-up, or, or R1. I think I just missed it. I'm more of a jumping R2 guy, because um, I like the stag, but maybe it's not such a big deal in round two. But round one, jumping R2, stag, stag. I could have staggered him a bit earlier. If my first swing had hit, I would have staggered him before he destroyed Jelly.
I felt that one. Splattered me on the face with fiery blood. I don't know if I told, or told you already, but um, Worf Son of Moog is reaching into the body of an outer god and splashing you with her blood. Which one? There's the, there's the greater will. There's the god of rot. There's the flaming madness god, which I think has infected the last of the giants. And then there's what? The, is this the blood god? The blood bleed god? Dave Ski, nice. I just did this with my cousin last night. He hits so he hits so hard. I'm not gonna say that word, Dave Ski. <laughs> I'm almost 40, that seems like you and me both, mate. That's the opposite. That is the opposite. Alright guys, do you wanna see something amazing? This time we go in and we flow in. This time I've put my health back on. I've actually remembered a button. We worry the boys. Oop, didn't worry him enough. Now we got him worried. Unfortunately, I've actually let him get a bit too close to Jelly. He, ideally, <laughs> ideally, I want him, <laughs> want him to not be bothering my beautiful little girl. She's gone, she's dead. She's gone, she's gone. Oh, I'm coming down dive rolling that one. Read the whole thing. Tree come got in peepo sad. How long can we talk about the release time? <laughs> you guys worry me. You vex me, you guys do. I'm I'm streaming tonight to chill out, not to Oh. Alright. Honestly, this leveling has put me into the position of I'm confident we're gonna defeat Moog. It's just a case of waiting for it to happen. But it's utterly changed the dynamic. This guy used to be trouble. Right. Oh, I love that. Love that little tuck under. He's scared. He's scared of me. He should be. Stagger. Drink this all the way over here, don't mind me. I believe we got up. I hope some of them here. I believe we got up. We're below your hitbox. Get fixed. Get fixed. Get fixed. Go, 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 go! Go, go, go! As clear as day. The coming of our dynasty. More queer.
Goodbye, Merc. Goodbye. There he goes. Goodbye, Merc. Drawing from the power of an Alter God. Wolf son of Moog, everybody. Dickhead. We got Moog's Great Rune. A remembrance of a blood lord. Damn. Davesky, casual, Ayatollah, kid Ludo narrative, McStagger! I love it, I love it. Frab, Sokinajar, Kaitzer, Feluciel, Tutoremo, Haunter, Mr. Roly, Fenrir. Guys, thank you very much for joining me for this victorious slaughter. Skull Nasher, I see you on the other side. Thank you very much, bro. I'm now <laughs> a DLC ready. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's the best weapon for mage players? The power button, mate. What you want to do is turn that shit off. Mage players. Xander, welcome on in. The only reason I say that is the first time I ever played this game, uh, I was a glintstone mage. And there is a really good early glintstone kind of staff. And I think you have to go straight to Kaelid and you can lure one of the really nasty black crows kind of like off the off a ravine you kind of like hide behind a tree stump and they kind of attack over you and disappear and it's either them or an air or a hut right next to them has a really good early glintstone uh, magic staff and then after that you get a pretty good one somewhere after the carrion manor oh, really high int scaling i never believed in you nisart how dare you bat spider i'd love a sip Chilling in the back. Biggest win for Mikey is that he can stop the stream. <laughs> Finally. Finally, we can move away. Um, but Xanderfat, have a little look on YouTube. If you're going to go magic and you need like something to cast it, that's not arcane. Um, Yeah, have a look. I don't know what you'd want to Google, but it's something about like killing one of the birds in Kaelid for a really good staff early. And then you'll get a much better staff after the Academy. Or it might be from the Karian Royal Manor that you pick it up. <clears throat> Kid Ludens, how's your day going? Do you still have to beat the purple dinosaur? How dare you? That is a borderline proto dragon. Now, I thought that was a proto dragon first of the dragons. However, the dragons actually ruled the land in between before the Greater Will interjected. So it's not like a it's not like an axolotl proto dragon as much as an axolotl primordial first physical being that the greater will put into our existence and that's why it's got such a unique vibe and it's obviously seen a world of dragons and mimicked the dragon form at its first entry and then obviously there was all the wars and we defeated the dragons uh so it's kind of evolved since then but yeah man this game's incredible so this arm grabs you by the wrist and it eats you into the dlc I look forward to it. Uh, the meteorite staff in Caleb's Swamp. Do you know what? Tylo might know. I don't know. I like, uh, I told her, have you ever played um, Elden Ring before? Tylo seems to know quite a lot about this game. All right, let's have a quick rest. Oh, Xander, thanks for the follow, by the way. Get your staff from an agency. They're expensive, but they save a lot of time. Accredited. Uh, nah, mate. <laughs> Shit game. All right. Can we interact with this? So I've never been here before anyway. This has been the first time I've done Moog. We completely skipped this in my first playthrough despite playing for 140 hours. But... Mm, no, no interacting yet. However, this was recently bleeding. Also, I like that this kind of egg is like a horrible mottled spider silk egg. But it's also reminiscent of tombs. Does anybody remember the X-Files show? Sorry, the X-File episodes, it was like a two-parter, and it was so good, it got re-released as like a kind of like straight-to-TV horror movie. And it was about a guy who lived forever, but he made like a... He made like an egg, and he came out every 30 years, and he could fit through letterboxes, and he killed people. Yeah, the stretchy man! Adorable, how are you doing? I don't think Ayatollah likes Souls games much. He doesn't like people with soul. Anyway, what I was saying is I like that this egg is sitting on, like, 
a weird throne which is evocative of uh, hip bones. So it's like this everything about this imagery it's all weirdly like burvy maternally because you know hips are related to bearing babies and all that sort of stuff but it's a horrible blood spider egg arm dangle instead it's like evocative and also uh like can we can we get a camera in there i want to see what what's going on in there uh, sacrilegious. There we go. Alright, brilliant. Well, uh, that was a load of fun. Let's level up. Also, let's go to the big giant. Let's see if our hardcore leveling has been abundant enough. Look how untagged most of my map is. Just straight to where I need to go, please. <laughs> No side quests. Come on, let's go. Put the forge, is this it? I'm existing and reading books. How about you, old boy? Oh my god, adorable. Do not hate me. I, I, I've just remembered. I forgot. I've not read the very, very, very end of that book yet. I've been getting so deep on... Um, I'm reading uh, Fire and Blood, the Targaryen House of the Dragon histories. I've been reading through, like... The reign of uh, Jaehaerys the Conciliator and what an awesome guy he is and all that sort of stuff. But uh, you've just reminded me, I need to actually finish another book first. And then there's something else I want to read. And then after that, it's Kid Ludo Narratives. Life on Mars books. Life on the Moon from 10 million moons ago. Hi, right, get me blood. I'm curious how we enter the DLC. Maybe through the egg. Yeah, so... Um, one of the other things that comes a lot in this game is being embraced. Being gifted, cursed, or cured through embrace. I wonder if we go to the egg and the arm, like, curls around us. Inherit the stars. No mention of my book. Damn. Uh-huh. I'm reading and listening to The Sunlit Man. The Sunlit Man? I don't know that one. Right. Get a dog. Alright, do we remember what to do? No, not really. We'll learn it. It's mostly about just surviving a few weird bits so that you can stay on top of him. You have to get near them to set them up. And then get away from them because they explode. That's all I know. And now there's fiery zones. Oh, this is bad. Oh, sweet. Oh, avoid the fire. Round two, first try, okay. He He's on the floor mostly, right? And we have to kind of go near him and run away from him. You keep it, guy. No need to feel guilty. Is this giant, has he been infected with the frenzied flame god? Big damage, big swings. No prab, don't confuse my leveling up for gameplay. <laughs> no, this here, right here, that's a sacrifice. He sacrificed that leg to the outer frenzied flame god, which is why his eye is cursed. Right? Is that what's happened right now?
Like, he was not an agent of the Frenzied Flame at all. Until now, when I forced him. Oh wow, he's way scarier than I remember. I thought I was actually like in a cheese strat zone. I was just about to liquefy the goodness. Ah, oh, damn. That's literally the cheese spot, right? That is, I, I want you to know that I just found that organically. That's the cheese zone right there. <sighs> All right, let's go back in. Oh, were you guys, were you guys feeling confident about me? Yeah. I want you to know that your energy in chat jinxed that, wasn't me. I, uh, a vixen mustang hey doing <laughs> welcome welcome I, uh yeah sorry <laughs> sorry guys sorry uh right okay we just need to get through round round one I, uh my heart rate has been going solidly since we started this stream All right, let's go. Let's go, friends. Hey, can I get some actual stats? It's too much to ask for. Oh, nearly free head. Nice. Okay, go near it and then let it blow up. Bloody my blade. Do I have a window of time to try that? Maybe not now, but later? Okay, I think I'll let that happen first. Oh, wow. 
wow, am I still alive? <laughs> oh, wow, that was pure luck. Okay, find the spot. Find it. Oh, wow, oh, holy. Okay, I didn't get into the sweet spot soon enough. any other boss i feel oh, i'm shouting fighting any other boss i feel like i'm okay with my stamina now fighting this guy you're just good get that stamina bar come just you got too greedy your daddy's dead he was an ulster man <sighs> it was greed also i'm over leveled the anklet is protecting him. I was getting more damage on the thigh. Thigh's dangerous, mate. This isn't a chicken dinner. Alright. I'm not eating the sa finest salmon thighs every night. No. Foot's the safe zone. They never check the foot. He keep beating his armor. You guys are making up armored zones. That armor is keeping all of us alive. You're maidenless. No, not like that. I found my maiden. It turns out Var killed her in the beginning of the game. We learned, we learned an awful lot. All right, this is it. Maybe a bit more thigh meat, okay? If we get to round two again for the sake of a stream, I promise to investigate the thigh. Over there, then. Did I steal the hearts of all of Britain? Because I'm Lady Fianna. No, Jelly! Good night, my sweet princess. Go, go, go. Not locking on is one of the keys to this. For reals. Oh, good. Don't lock on, don't... It is known. It is known. One never locks onto the giants in Elden Ring. This is known. All right. Well, what are their names? Tiki and Sika or something. Ah, yeah. Do you like dags? Oh, dogs. Yeah, I like dogs. Oh, Green of Time taught me that rolling's faster than walking. When... <laughs> This is my impression of an Ocarina of Time speedrun. Uh, 
Um, can you stop playing the game for a minute? I don't know if you guys noticed, but I've been sewing this sweater the whole stream. So I don't know if I'm going to be alive next year. <laughs> Anyone? No, don't worry about it. Oh, do you want to check out our stats? Fifty vigor. Uh, eighty something decks. Eighty-eight decks. Forty-eight strength. That's the main main cheese. I was level sixty-six when I first came to the giant. I did a whole load of leveling up between this and last stream, and now I'm level one hundred, nearly one hundred and fifty. Every time I don't defeat this giant, it increases the chance that I won't defeat this giant. He's giving himself the ticks again. Turn it down, you can wait to dead. Uh, bird farm or dragon farm? I farmed the, what are they called? The, those innocent people whose screams I still hear at night. The, the big headed Aluriac, Aluriac peoples. I farmed the, uh, the area near Mogwin's palace. I killed them. All of them. Even the younglings. The women and the children too. I killed them all. Albanorix. Oh, bird. Right, because of the bow and arrow bird. Yeah, yeah, okay. I know, uh, I know what that means now. What's in your tea? Wisdom. I need to run quickly into the safe zone. Not yet. First comes flames. Then comes love. Then comes a baby from the cradle herba. Hit the fire. Dead. I'm not just going to try to tank all of those every time that happens.
Hands, hands, hands. No, don't lock. is clear i want you guys to know that i destroyed that giant for all of the short kings everyone five eight and under around the world raise your hands in delight feel my golden praise here we are <sighs> that giant likes to roll just as much as you do basil off how dare you and also yes Great White Kitty, thank you very much for the 44 month resub. Oh my god, Izzy, you're on European time. I was about to be like, yo, that's a bit early for you. Izzy, you gorgeous this thing. How you doing? Head. Intoxicated Ayatollah, Fenrir, Great White Kitty, Hannibal Electra, Snow Rip, Kitesa, Adorable, Mr. Roly Prab, Fenrir, Atami. Hey, Atami. Yeah, we got there. Thelusiel, and many more. Thank you very much for believing in your boy. The gorgeous Mikey Mega Mega. Live on Twitch, we did it. We did it! Remembrance of a fire giant. I can sell these and learn. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, now. Summon the dog. Up at the cauldron is all sorts of business. If you're watching the HD episodes over on YouTube, click like, click subscribe. Go on, click that like button. You've got the next episode on screen for you right now or join us live on Twitch. Link in the description. I'll see you then for more. Take care.